all right this is a on water review of the fire stick by fire water marine it's uh seven six the action is a medium heavy and the line capacity is 20 to 40 pounds with a lure of two to five ounces i have it paired with the Ming yang cl60 I did an unboxing on it. Check it out. I uh, have it spooled up with the uh, Whisker Seeker 30 pound mono. And it's actually pretty good. And I have a four ounce sinker on here. And this is going to be my second cast ever with this. Check out the handle. I like it. It's almost like a bass reel, the way they have the evo foam handle broke up all right so here we go wow that was pretty good that ain't too deep right there i can go ahead and tell you i'm gonna have to get a power handle for this uh mean yang here so this handle's just too short. Reminds me of a bass reel. I had to be careful when casting. I can cast better than that, but I got two reels stuck up behind me here. And I did not <laughs> want to snatch one of them out. So we have a kayaker out there. See if I can get to where I don't wanna I don't wanna snatch one of these rods here. Oh yeah. Now that was in the middle. So it cast really good. I <laughs> I can't wait to cast it from shore. I have, I have to tell you, man, this thing is very nice looking. I mean, it's not all flashy like some of the rods, but there's just something about black and chrome, I'm telling you. Nice. See, the orange line here matches real good with the uh, flames on it. Let me get reeled in here. Yeah, I got I to gotta get a power handle. But anyway, here we go. It has the white tip. It, uh, it almost looks like a glow-in-the-dark white, but I know it's not. But look how thick these eyes are. I mean, yeah, a lot of them have stainless steel eyes. Well, the good ones anyway. But look how thick they are. Pretty thick. It's really nice. It is a two-piece rod, but believe it or not, it actually goes into like right here. It is very deep in there. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna cast one more time. Look at that. Boy. That is a good combo right there. And of course, I can't help but I hold my reel like this. I'm used to bass fishing, holding my reel. So unless I got a fish on here, I just naturally hold the reel. But I'm gonna get it baited up. I'm gonna turn the clicker on and I'm gonna drag this creek here. Well, it's more like a small little river, but technically the name of its creek, Little Alamance Creek. But I'm going to put a piece of chicken on here and turn the clicker on because I've only got two rod holders right now. And, uh, ooh, about my, my lure's over. And, uh, drag down this creek and see if I can get something. I got these two rigged up. I'm gonna drag those 
and I'm gonna hang this one off the back. All right, this is so y'all can see the action of the rod. The fire is good. Thank you.